Destroy Lonely really did this to his fans, man. And, you know, Destroy Lonely's infamous mask from, you know, his most recent album with Looks Could Kill. It's selling for $150, the Look Killer box set. So let's just check this out. And a lot of fans out there that actually got the mask all kind of said the mask was super cheap. It doesn't look anything like the mask that Destroy Lonely was actually wearing. So let's just kind of take a look at this box set. Look killer box at $150. Ships on November 2nd, 2023. Look killer box includes a Looks Could Kill CD, Look Killer Film, VHS, including Never Seen Before. Never never before seen behind the scenes of making of the short film. Yeah, the short film was actually pretty fire. Like obviously the acting was pretty trash, but then again, Destroy Lonely never ever really claimed that he was like an actor, you know what I mean? Like he's obviously like a rapper, an artist, so just him being considered an actress is kind of funny, even though the acting was super terrible, like especially the scene where he tries to rizz up this Asian girl at the, the bar, super funny. But look killer green mask premium material this mask is made of soft stretchy latex material non-toxic and safe note buyers will receive products with latex smell this is normal the mask should be placed in a ventilated place for two to three days or washed with water before use that's super interesting because just so many people said the mask was super trash and just super carbon copy because like the original mask right here is 115 bucks and I don't know, it just doesn't look anything like the mask that he wore in like the short film. So it's definitely a little bit interesting. Adult size, one size fits most people. Easy to wear and remove. There are ventilation holes in the eyes and nose. You don't have to worry about not seeing or not being able to breathe freely. See, if you take a look at this, this mask is obviously different than this one. Like, I don't even know what's going on. Why is Destroy Lonely lying to his fans? I mean, it's not even that deep in my opinion, but it's just super, super interesting. And the VHS tape is definitely pretty fire. The mask is definitely fire. And even Destroy Lonely's most recent project, the deluxe version, it looks could kill. I guess you could say director's cut. So let's just go over the whole track list again. I know I've done it like many times. The whole runtime of this project is one hour 41 minutes. If it looks to kill director's cut. So first track, How You Feel, was from the original track list. So pretty much most of these songs are from the original track list that I'm going to go through. But I also mention the ones that are brand new. So How You Feel, I think it's like a 9 out of 10 track. I do actually have... Um, Rankings of looks to kill. So let me just bring that up. It's on my, my notes. Looks to kill, destroy, lonely. Um, well, yeah. Okay, so I actually have it on my notes. So track number one is How You Feel. I gave it a good 6 out of 10. I have the, the title tracks of Looks to Kill. I gave it an 8 out of 10. Fly Shed, I gave it 10 out of 10. Raver, I gave it 7 out of 10. Came in with 1 out of 10. That beat is so damn bad, man. Like, it sounds like... Uh, it just sounds like a fucking cat is, like, scratching a chalkboard. Like, with the, the strings and the guitar. It's just so bad to me. By the Pound, 7 out of 10. All the Time, 6 out of 10. Biggest Problem, 10 out of 10. The 808s in that are just super hard. Just the whole ambient vibe is just so damn good chris paul 7 out of 10 i think it's a little bit overrated some people overrated it but it's still a fire track and then the new track that just recently came off the director's cut is catch a kill catch a kill definitely goes pretty hard i definitely enjoy it and then the other new one is that's my that one also goes pretty hard i don't fully remember it but i do remember it was good off the director's cut Superstar, 10 out of 10, great track. Nunu, 5 out of 10. Nunu is just like, like the instrumental is super, like, memorable. I don't know, like, I don't know if that's like the right word, but like, it's still, 
It's still pretty good. Like it has like a certain sound that just makes you remember it. Right now it's a 10 out of 10. Which way is a 6 out of 10. Wigman's a 6 out of 10. Brazy Girls, one of the best songs of the year and on the project, 10 out of 10. Going Up is a 9 out of 10. I remember a previous video I said, oh, Going Up is trash, but as I'm talking about, I'm looking at my um, my rankings, it's definitely a 9 out of 10. Passenger, 10 out of 10. Promo, 10 out of 10. Worth It, 8 out of 10. Red Light, 9 out of 10. Make some work, 10 out of 10. Um, safety interlude, I didn't really like. Like, I didn't, I, I don't know, it's just like dragged on and there's already a bunch of acoustic sounding ambient tracks like that. I just didn't really like it. Your Eyes is a 9 out of 10. Money and Sex, 9 out of 10. And overall, I gave the project a 6 out of 10. But also some of the newer tracks, Too Damn Rich, Pretty Good, Spilling, Pretty Good, Check the Fleet, and Back Sipping. But overall, this brand new Director's Cut um, box set is pretty fire, but I just don't know why he lies to his fans. Just about the quality of the mask, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know. But yeah, the Director's Cut, definitely no misses. I've looks at Kill is a strong 6 out of 10 in my opinion. Like I said, if the, the track list was just cut down in half, it would probably be the album of the year. Or even one of the better OP projects, in my opinion. 